Okay, so this game is about how a bunch of dirty European scientists were like, Eh, hey, you know it's cooler than having a mindless soldier's killing the name of? Huh, what's that dear old chap? You ready for this? Reanimated mindless soldiers. Say what, old boy? So just like in all the movies where scientists try to play God and these mutant monsters escape from captivity and begin to kill like all the park goers and then they have to shut down Jurassic Park. Uh, I mean, Europe. Yeah, Europe. Now, uh, of course, I'm probably making up like 90% of what I just said because there is no storyline. This is a multiplayer only game. So now it's up to you and like eight different friends to systematically fight back these hordes of mutants. So here's the meat and potatoes of the game. You go into a match and you kill a bunch of mutant men and you earn XP and DOSH, which is apparently Europe's future money. You use this dosh at this magical shop that opens up where you can buy like a bajillion weapons and new armor and ammo. Eventually the shop closes up and then you go back to man blasting. Now let's say we were to play 7 rounds. After 7 rounds are completed there is a secret boss fight. You need to kill the freak to finish the match. Or lose. Losing is always an option. Loser. I really enjoy the shooting in this game. Just letting bullets rain down upon those who look different than me is what keeps me coming back. Though Melee is a whole different kind of beast because it's not hork, 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 me mash button and kill all. Like you actually have to parry and move around to get your character to swing in that direction. So there are several different kind of classes you can choose from, each with their own special abilities. You got like the gunslinger who uses two guns, you have the firebug who uses flamer tools, and then you have the berserker, which apparently everyone hates because you can get kicked playing as one, whatever, is a melee specialist. So now it's time to talk about the downsides of this game, because every game has a downside, nothing is perfect. So with this game, it would have to be that the game connection is pretty piss poor. And just the fact it's a wave shooter, which I'll get to in a little bit. So at least on Epic, where I own this game, there's been huge connection problems. Like you'll be in the middle of a match and all of a sudden you get kicked for being a badass. Then there's the whole wave shooter thing because with most wave shooters, there is no story. It's just jump into a match, kill a certain amount of dudes until you're done, rinse and repeat. So, yeah, that part kind of sucks, but it's still a lot of fun. Oh, and jumping is pretty weak in this game too, like kind of pathetic. It's like watching a monkey trying to jump with another dead monkey stapled to its back. The three biggest things I'm rating here are fun, effort, and time. And I'll rate these things up to a 1 to 5 system. Boom. For a wave-based shooter, I would have to give this game a 5 because of the multiple classes, the huge amount of weapon variations, the shooting is excellent, the melee is rewarding, and who doesn't love bullet time to kick in when you blow up a group of baddies? Oh, did I forget to mention about bullet time? It happens whenever you do a really cool action. The downside about it is it affects everyone, so if your friend gets a cool headshot, you too will slow down. This game also features a killer heavy metal soundtrack that you're gonna have fun listening to as you're blasting brains. Ever. Four out of five. This game doesn't require too much effort to learn. If you aren't great at headshots, then why not just go on a stabbing spree? And if you don't wanna be stabbing everyone, then just blow everything and everyone up. There may not be much to learn overall, but mastering that dirty, dirty berserker class that everyone hates may take some time. Time. 5 out of 5. Thanks to the search filter, you can choose a 10 minute 4 round map or a 30 minute battle to a never ending onslaught, if you wish. So, best part is if you play for like an hour today and you don't get to play again until next month, it's not like you're missing out on anything. It's so easy to pick back up. I see this game constantly going sale on Steam for like 10 bucks, and I've always wondered if it was worth the price. Well, within a week, I put in over like a day and a half worth of playing time, so I would highly recommend it if you and your friends are looking for a fun co-op shooter. I hope you all enjoyed and found it informative enough that it earned a like and subscribe. Thanks, and happy gaming. 20 streets is 20 streets.